Let's break down this dunk session here. And it wasn't the prettiest, I'll be honest with you. This session happened after a lifting session. And as you can see, I started off, I mean, not even all the videos are here, but just missing dunks left and right. I was pretty frustrated. A lot of it had to do with timing. I wasn't approaching it correctly. My entry velocity, as you see in a lot of these movements, like my run up speed, um, it's not very good. You know, I had a couple of good dunks, but not until I realized, you know, you really got to attack it a lot faster that I, uh, I finally saw some progress and I finally started jumping. So I just want to make a couple, get a rhythm going. Um, and as I get going, you can really see I start to pick up the pace in which I'm running up and approaching that speed. Now, maybe that was just a byproduct from lifting that morning. Um, you know, if you're tired and you are a little fatigued, certain areas are going to, well, be sacrificed. And maybe that was my approach speed. So when I put 90% approach speed effort, like I normally do, maybe let's just pretend I go 10 meters a second for speed. But now when I'm tired and I give my 90% effort approach speed, I'm only going 8.5 meters a second. So I'm slower. So even though I don't realize it, it's actually impacting my jump height quite a bit. Now, as I got going here, I started to throw a couple down and it felt pretty good. This hoop is like 9, 11 and a half, right about 10 feet. This gym has random size hoops. Some of them are actually 10 too, we've measured them at. Um, but finally, this last one here is pretty good. Probably my best dunk of the day. Uh, something I enjoyed a little bit, so that one felt good. Good approach velocity on that one as well.